Um, so, first of all, how was the US tour with Moose Blood? Great. Absolutely. Blew our minds, to be honest with you. Yeah, amazing. Is it um, sort of like a strange concept for you guys going out there and having people, so many people know your lyrics? Honestly, yeah. Like, it was, we really didn't expect that at all. So, it was a real, uh, really pleasant surprise for us. It was, it was probably the best tour we've ever done, I think. It was amazing. Yeah, some of those shows honestly felt like headline shows. Scary how many of those kids knew us. It was absolutely mad. So I assume you're looking forward to going back for Vans Warped Tour then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this year is like another return for Slam Dunk. Are you ex guys expecting a different dynamic to last year at all? I just think, I don't know, really, because like last year we didn't really know what to expect. And like we realised from each show that we had like, bit of following and it was pretty cool and then this year they're on such stages like five times bigger. So I, I think it's just going to... So no, it's anyone's good. guess, yeah, we'll have to see. Hopefully, yeah. So obviously for merch you guys did the Sticks of Rock synonymous with Blackpool. Are there yeah. any more ideas for any fun or out of the box merch? We had some ideas but they never, they're always expensive to make. And you're like, well yeah, then you have to charge a lot of money to sell them. And no one like, who the hell would buy yeah. that? It's like just, just kind of just for us if we were going to release it anyway. I wanted to do umbrellas, but then I found out the men's singers did umbrellas and nobody bought them. So, like, I don't know, maybe not. But it's rainy everywhere, so you'd think it'd be like some people would yeah. need. I mean, I guess if the men's singers did umbrellas, it's not really that rainy where they're from. Oh, here. Oh, they did from here. the UK tour, yeah. Well, people are idiots if they didn't bought them. There you go. So, not printing. where did the idea to tour with Casey come from? Just a really good band. Like we've we've known them for ages. Like, we've, you know, we've never actually uh, played any shows before, but they're a really great band. Their album's awesome. Um, I kind of knew of a few of them in, in like their previous bands and stuff, and uh, they're just an awesome band that we've, we thought the, the build would make sense. And uh, luckily, it, it kind of this was the right time to, to do it, to do it. It's more of an interesting build as opposed to a lot of the. Uh, I guess the we get roped in with all of the like. Poppy bands and all the punk bands, all the pop punk bands and stuff like that. So it's nice to kind of mix it up again. Yeah, definitely. But with that, were you ever questioned, or did you ever question the idea of putting the two bands together just for selling tickets and whatnot? Not really. Um, no, nah, we we've never really thought like that. We always just kind of go, well, who would be cool to play shows with? Let's do that. And, you know. I mean, if maybe if we wanted to do like a venue that was a bit above our station then maybe that's the kind of thing you need to think about, but like, we've, not, we've never come to that point yet, so. Yeah. So, if you guys could tour with any band, No Limits, who would it be? I don't know how to answer this question. I always end up picking someone stupid, but it sounds stupid, but I genuinely would pick just someone like, uh, Destiny's Child, or just someone really fucking massive and awesome. I don't know, how about you? Um, <laughs> I don't know. P.O.D. P.O.D.? Yeah. Out of everyone you could have picked. It's the first name that came to my head. Yeah. Alright. It's the only song that anyone knows. Yeah. We saw, we saw them, like, we played uh, below them in Reading, as it is, years ago. And uh, it was P.O.D., Alien and Farm, and Who Stank? Played like a kind of. Like remember when we were? Yeah, yeah, they opened it. Really? Remember when we were a band kind of tour? And uh, that's why they played like all their hits. They played them twice. And when they played live, they opened and closed the live. That's hilarious. So yeah, I'll, uh, POD, I would tour with. Okay, so Blackpool Grand Media. <laughs> <laughs> What's your tea. opinions? <laughs> Shout out to. I think it's sick. I think they're great. Not yeah, overshadowing you guys then. <laughs> I do, sometimes think that, yeah, like, I do sometimes <laughs> think that like, if we start saying that we're from Blackpool a lot, people are going to be just, is it going to just be synonymous with that? Do you know what I mean? I don't know. But I think it's great. Like, they're legit. Like, obviously, it's quite funny, but they're legit talented. Like, they're, like, they're good at what they do. And uh, the views, you can't argue with the views, man. A hell of a lot more views than we've got, you know? <laughs> Killing it. So if Boston Man had to send for one of the Blackpool Grand Media lot, who would it be? I'd send for Afghan Dan. I reckon I could rip him to shreds. <laughs> Honestly. I like Afghan Dan though. He's a nice guy. <laughs> I don't know, it seems it. I've seen him on the bus before. Like, Have you actually seen him on the bus? Yeah, like getting on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> That's Afghan Dan. <laughs>
And uh, finally, if you've got anything to say to your fans that'll be watching. Thank you very much for supporting us. If you do support us, if you just click on this video randomly and check us out. Um, yeah, if you're seeing us on this tour, then thank you so much for buying tickets and, you know, jump off the stage and grab the mic and have some fun. We've been saying it up louder and thank you for watching.